What's up, guys? Welcome to my channel, and today we're back with some of the reaction for the Eminence in Shadow episode 10. All right, guys, last episode was pretty crazy. Don't get me wrong, I wanted that old man to actually give Sid a bit of that, you know, uh, try to get a little bit serious and stuff, but man, he was not even stronger than Xenon, right? So, was that Xenon the dude who he previously fought? Because he was pretty strong. Because he was gonna get invited to the rounds, I guess, after he had completed whatever the mission he was trying to do. Uh, try. Oh yeah, that's right, the prince's uh, blood and all. So yeah. Anyway, so my boy, she just basically just destroyed him without even trying, right? So he was not really a problem for Sid. But the craziest thing is that now you know her, the girl. She thinks that it was Sid. Uh, I mean, Shadow who actually did all this because she saw everything despite not really knowing the truth. So I'm just hoping somehow, some way, she finds out the truth about like what what was the real reason or what was her father really like, you know, because she never even know. Like she thought, because that man basically killed her, her only family and basically, you know, like she not knowing is pretty cool to be honest. So hopefully she finds that out. So hopefully she doesn't really go around trying to kill Shadow and all, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, other than that, it was a really good episode so with that being said let's just see what we're gonna you know what's gonna happen now you know what i'm saying we'll see what happens because that old man was not really he wasn't really a threat is what i'm trying to say so we'll see what happens anyway guys with that being said let's go ahead and check the new episode out let's go okay that's his sissy what's going on with sissy <laughs> man's literally just hiding bro because she's out there looking Um, okay, I'm like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> I thought, like, someone was sitting on sleeping on seat or something. What the hell? I mean, definitely aren't without a doubt. You have what's <laughs> good, perfect indeed. Okay. When he was back in the, you know, head office, our previous head office, I guess. Okay, I see. I see where this is going on. Cause she flat. I'm like, what is going on? I mean, obviously he doesn't feel a shit about any other girls, right? <laughs> well, he actually has the biggest harem ever. In anime history. Can we just relax about the Opa? I mean, both of you got good ones, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's just going for the cat. <laughs> What's up with her, bro? God. Gamma, man, what the fuck? Has to be Gamma, right? God. Journey. The hell is he going? Hmm. Sacred land. She's also going to sacred land? For what? As she was going on. <laughs> nah, <laughs> prison itself is water. <laughs> <laughs> Got my bro. She know what she doing. On oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Yo, Gamma, I mean, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> Okay. Let me see it too. No, I can't see it. <laughs> Says tough, bro. Him, we all know what's going on, all right? Okay, but that ain't gonna work on him. I'm, I'm just being honest. Oh, we, we got it, okay. <laughs> oh, I think she's out there looking for a seed right now. I think this is after, right? Because she thinks he's dead, dead. 
<laughs> there is. Okay, when did he get to get back? <laughs> Gaku. <laughs> Oh, okay. Now she ain't letting him go. <laughs> oh god, this is too funny, man. Yeah, dragon. Okay, second land. What the hell? What is that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bruh. <sighs> it's funny. I mean, at least my man's getting a treat, you know what I'm saying? He got a girl next to her and she... Perfect. In my scenario, anyway. But to him, obviously, he just doesn't really give a fuck. Got his trail. <laughs> and me... <laughs> I don't know. You got a lot of rivals is what I like to say. President. He can't even take his hand off, bro. That man's done, done. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> He's so done, bro. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he can't take his hand off, bro. <sighs> it's too funny. He's an idiot. He he definitely is an idiot. <laughs> the man's literally sleeping on <laughs> That's too funny, bro. He's trying his best. Oh, okay. I mean, having her tag along is pretty good because she knows everything, so it's pretty good in that. Oh, sealed away. Natsuma Sensei. Is that beta? Bruh, okay. She out of bed out there doing her own stuff, too. <laughs> okay. That's funny. Cinderella. <laughs> All the stories that he said. Okay, dragon <laughs> one part. Okay, okay. Look at this man, bro. He's he's reading out his own novel. Wisdom. <laughs> you are getting robbed. <laughs> but at the end of the day, he's not, because everything is just basically his. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now there's a full on code. Don't look. He's too smart. Too smart. <laughs> there's a full on code there which he has no idea about. Yeah, that's great. Oh, Alpha. What were you hiding? Yeah, okay, so he was hiding something. Oh, he's already dead. Damn, so this man was already dead before Alpha even got there. Yo, he was already dead before Alpha even got there. And we all know, like, basically the whole story, story is, like, you know, just made up. False. He does sound like a villain, doesn't he? <laughs> so I'm assuming this was the person who actually killed the archbishop anyway. Maybe Alpha's following him? Am I right? Oh, okay. He himself went. What about the shadow farm, bro? Yeah, he has no idea what plan. <laughs> oh, look. She's actually, she's actually trying really hard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gotta give it to her. <laughs> Alright.
pretty cool episode, basically a fan service episode. And don't get me wrong, I genuinely did enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Finally, everything's been settled down a little bit more clearly, right after all those two incidents in a row. So we are here going to a uh, sacred land where the heroes and stuff. So apparently, uh, one of the heroes cut the Diablo's left arm. Was it? Yes. And uh, obviously, because we already know that the history has basically been just, you know, lied about and all, like about the Diablo and everything. So you can't really trust anything whenever it comes to history. And since the Alpha was actually going to the church, she was going to the church and the Archbishop has already been killed. So it was not really Alpha who killed him. I thought for a second, maybe it might have been her who killed him, but that was not the case. When she got there, he was already dead. So I'm assuming it was the dude who was running away, right? And the one that she kind of encountered. And but the other, uh, the one who likes to, you know, show off her boobs, uh, she was the one who basically just got rid of him, I guess. But that might not be the case, that guy might be completely someone different. But yeah, anyway, so the archbishop is basically done, and Alpha has already given a uh plan or whatever, like you know, what are we plan to do and all. And obviously, Beta also gave a secret code to him in the book, but obviously, he has no idea. All right, <laughs> this man has no idea. And it was kind of obvious, you know, president out there with CHN letting him go, you know what I'm saying? She is freaking serious about it. So, yeah, he's having a tough time kind of getting rid of her. But obviously, he's going to suffer more when it comes to that. But it's pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? It seems like she knows a lot about it, a lot about the, you know, history and all, obviously, because she is pretty well informed about it. So that is kind of helping him out in a way because he doesn't really care. He doesn't want to, he doesn't really, you know, he, he just goes with the flow is what I'm trying to say. So he's actually getting information while he's not even trying to get information. You get what I'm saying, right? But anyway, so it was a pretty cool episode. Uh, it was pretty cool seeing uh, princesses uh, try out their, you know, new uh, cloths. So it was pretty good. Sadly, we didn't really get to see Gamma wearing, you know, his hand. Then, but yeah, it's a bit sad, but it is what it is. But yeah, I genuinely did enjoy it. So I'm pretty sure princesses, they are also both here as well with Sid, clearly, right? So it seems like some type of trip, you know, and they're like, what, like some type of test or something? Something's about to go down. But anyway, guys, overall, this episode was pretty cool. Genuinely did enjoy it. Uh, yeah, Sid is out here getting more famous and famous. Man's getting girls like it ain't nothing. And it was just funny, like, you know, the way how she was just talking with her boobs, you know what I'm saying? That was pretty cool, but obviously he doesn't really, like, he has no, like, you know, affection. Or, like, he doesn't really, like, it's not that he likes it or anything, he just doesn't really care, is what I'm trying to say. Because man was just complimenting the way how she's able to utilize the slime suit. <laughs> not the, you know... <laughs> But yeah, it, it's funny. Anyway, guys, hope you guys did like this small reaction. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash the like button. Don't get that subscribe button and notification bell, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. I wanna see you in slow motion. Come stay the night. We can stay on till it's bright. In the morning, got the top open. Come take a ride.